Hello everybody, my name is Burr, and welcome to my first, uh, gameplay. I'm not sure if I wanted to see it that way, but anyway, I will be doing a couple of playthroughs on one of my favorite books from this visual novel app called Originals Interactive Story Series. And the first book I'm, I'm doing is called Immortal Thirst, which is set in the year of 1927, which is stated on episode one right now. So, yeah. <laughs> um, this is my first time doing stuff like this, so be gentle with me. And a warning though, make sure your volume is a little like low, just in case I um <laughs> uh, I fangirl a little too loud and stuff. Like I tend to make like weird inhuman noises, so, yeah. Anyway, my commentary will be genuine, despite, uh, playing this game for, like, many days, so, yeah. Anyway, enjoy. Figure 1927, the height of the jazz age. I, I've been pretty fucking obsessed with, like, the 1920s as of late. I think it's because of, um, this game called Fictive. I'm not really sure if any of you are familiar with it. And uh, there's one character named Nikki Valentino. That guy is my favorite. <laughs> anyway, so here's my MC. So, yeah. She just moved to Chicago to start in your life in the city. Yeah. Anyway, my MC is so gorgeous. Like, I would... Like... I would let her step on me with her heels. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... My god, I'm sorry if my, if whatever I'm doing is kind of slow to your liking, but I'm trying my best, so yeah. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. I don't want to come off as nervous, but I'm trying my best to make this entertaining. So, yeah. And I hate that this game is going to be shut down, like, September, like, end of September. It's in beta for, like, such a long time. I mean, I'm not sure a long time, but I think... It went into beta since last year. Late last year. It's only available in Australia and Canada. Which kind of sucks since the reason why the game isn't like financially stable. Which I think it's kind of really dumb. Anyway. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know whether to read the dialogues or not. But, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll read some in some other chat, uh, in some other episodes. Maybe not. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll try to keep going on the commentary for the future episodes. But I doubt that I 
would still want to do it or something. I don't know. It's sometimes I do impulsive shit, so <laughs> don't mind me. This guy is he weird, like uh <laughs> gross. Little Helen grins at you like you just stepped off the eternal truck from Shelby County. Oh Shelby County. Oh Shelby uh I wonder where this hat came from. <laughs> it's not far from the truth. This is your chance to reinvent yourself. What sort of person you wanna be? No good no worldly no. I go playful most of my time like replaying this uh story. So yeah. A generous offer. Might like to see what my options are like inside. Ew, please go away. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch let go, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I guess go you please won't let Miss Olivia. I shall call the master. You are here for the interview, yes, Miss Valentino. Right. Well, don't you just stand there? Come inside. My name is Olivia Blunkvist. Blunkvist? I don't know. <laughs> I I don't like butchering names, but I tried. I am lawyer Count Victor Sabarov is looking for a personal assistant to attend to his needs. He is a dynamic man with diverse interests. Never heard the rumors. No, ma'am. I've only been in town a few days. People talk. They call him a playboy, fugitive, a scoundrel. They say he is secretive and strange with wanton appetites. I just like such talk. The proper candidate for the job must be devoted, meticulous, and discreet. Sounds like me. <laughs> I mean, not me in real life, but more of Bellamy, so, yeah. Then you will have no trouble securing the position. Are you sorry to, like, uh, go off topic at some, uh, throughout the video? Um, maybe I could, like, I don't know, make one video supplementary, one without. I, I don't know, I'm not just fond of my voice in a very one of the grown edit stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. The Count will join us shortly. In the meantime, perhaps you could tell me a little about yourself. I recently moved to Chicago from a small rural town. But I've always dreamed of discovering the promise of the city. I read so much that I feel like I know almost everything there is to know about the city. The culture, the glamour, even the scandal. You're curious? You'll like that. Which of these ears stirs your interest most? Ooh. Culture, glamour, scandal. I 
and how it's terrible, but I'm fascinated by stories about gangsters and rum runners. Olivia regards you coolly. <laughs> the master will join you shortly. Have yourself a drink while you wait. For a drink, abstain. Um, I mean, I've chosen poor drink as many, many, many times. So, maybe let's try, let's try abstain. Besides, not if <laughs> you decide it's best not to drink, you're here for work after all. Ooh. Feels like an invitation. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Clearly, this is a house full of mysteries. Your curiosity is piqued. It's like the battle back and step inside. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. This is no simple secret passage. You fall a few steps down to a lavish gallery, as grand as the rest of the house. The floor beneath your feet is luxuriously carpeted. The walls are battle of oak. At the far end is an archway leading to another room, from which comes a strange, undulating glow. The wall is hung with portraits, oil paintings, and heavy gilded frames. The first is surely a painting of your host, Count Victor Sabarov. He is an intensely handsome man with dark brows and alluring golden eyes that seem to stare into your soul. He is fashionably, he is fashionably dressed and as, and as poised and perfectly cut as a marble statue. Even though the painting you get a sense of his magnet, magnetism, you feel intrigued and settled around. I don't want to use the same option, so I'm going to go intrigued. The next portrait is, is a similar man, dressed in a more Victorian style. A long coat, cravat, and top hat. No, not a similar man. The same man. The same refined features, the same penetrating eyes. In the next painting, the same man again and again. He is in half a dozen paintings stretching back across a hundred years of style. As though in all of them he seems the same age. Vanity, perhaps? Or do the men of the suburb of city. <laughs> Damn it. I reread that again. <laughs> Vanity, perhaps? Or the men of the Sabarov family bear a striking similarity to their fathers. The last in the row shows him in the uniform of a Russian imperial officer. The panel on the frame gives the occasion of the painting as the Battle of Borodino, 1812. Impossible. Once again, you feel as if his eyes are on you, but this time you could swear he sensed him behind you. You turn and discover. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I clicked too fast for that. <laughs> his light reflected from a red and gold underground swimming pool. You step forward, feeling compelled to investigate further. The room is tiled with crimson, inlaid with shimmering touches of gold. A hidden paradise beneath the mansion. Your breath catches in the beauty of it. And then you realize you are not alone. Silently, he glides like a shark beneath the water. His body is strong and sleek. The muscles on his back. <laughs> Don't let me read that again. I'm so sorry. The muscles in his back flex and ripple as he propels himself forward. He completes a lap without drawing breath and turns beneath the water to swim all the way back. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, 
Let me just say that this is like, to be honest, in my opinion, this is the greatest uh, first encounter you'll ever see in, I guess, visual novel app history, to be honest. No, I'm gonna lie. Damn, his legs. <laughs> anyway, as if we're out of the pool, he pulls himself out of the water. With a gasp, he realized he's naked. <laughs> you sink back against the wall, hoping its shadows will conceal you. Not! It's the man from the paintings. And now you know there was no vanity in those portraits. Portraits? Portraits? Fuck. <laughs> portraits. They captured him. Exactly. I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't do videos on YouTube. I'm just doing this for archiving some stuff, so if this gets de uh, demonetized, then you can just go find me on Instagram, which I will leave the, down leave the link down below just in the descriptions. So yeah, and probably you'll get it posted on IGTV, to be honest. <laughs> anyway. His body glistens like artfully turned silver in the soft, dancing light. <laughs> Your eyes take in every word <laughs> I can't. I can't read this. I'm sorry. I was just... <laughs> Wait, maybe I could read this. Read the next excerpt. <laughs> you notice the steely strength of his arms, the sculpted dotness of his stomach. <laughs> Every inch of him. You've never seen anything like him. Can I beat the water droplets dropping from his thighs? <laughs> or maybe the towel at his shoulder? Nice. See, and then he looks out. <laughs> your heart is in your throat. As you draw back behind the cover of the archway, you're certain he saw you. Do you want another look? Flee? The fuck not? We gonna do the first option. <laughs> There's no way is my girl gonna flee like that. She's bold. You glimpse back once more with the courage that surprises you. He's not looking your way. Is your absence of in a towel? What a smart place across his lips. Exhaling, you slink away and hurry back upstairs. You manage to sneak a glimpse of your mysterious host. <laughs> you return to the office and try to calm yourself, anxious to avoid suspicion. The secret door clicks shut behind you. Just then, the office door is open and a dapper young man strolls in. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I mean, I love all the allies, to be honest. Uh, not to spoil anyone. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I hope it didn't st startle you. Fuck, let me read that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hope I didn't startle you. I called it a present. <laughs> I called it a pleasant surprise. I'm here. I'm Carrie. Melamy. He reaches out and shakes her hand. His grip is firm, but his skin is soft. Mm -hmm. You're for a job interview? I guess the count. That's my business. I'm here for a job interview. If you're waiting for the count, he'll be a while. Come and join the party. Let's tell him I led you astray. You sense that Carrie could lead a nun astray without much objection. He's affectiously charming. Infectiously charming. Damn it! Anyway. Carrie takes her hand, leads you out into the grand foyer. In the heart of the party. This is everything you dreamed. 
the big city would be. The drinks are flowing, the music is swinging. Spirits are high and people are dancing. The room is thrumming. Thrumming. <laughs> it's thrumming with an electric mood. He's quick on his feet, smooth and exciting. His body is lift and fluid. His rhythm, impeccable. As you move with him, as you, <laughs> as you move with him, you feel alive, free, full of joy. Mm, glamour and sophistication, handsome stranger. The beat and the flow of the band. The song ends and you catch your breath. Practice and passion, really natural though. I would love to dance. Gary laughs. There will be more. <laughs> there will be many more opportunities. Trust me on that. He practically lives on the dance floor. Must be new and Marisol. Marisol is beautiful, confident, and stylish. You feel like everyone you meet is more stunning and fabulous than the last. It's a pleasure to meet you, Marisol. I'm Bellamy. She's new in town. Ah, oh, then you don't know. Gary here runs the hottest dance hall in town. And Marisol is our star performer, a dynamite sing singer. She'll knock your stockings off. But I prefer to take them off slowly. She winks at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are you gonna sing for us later? If the mood strikes me. I hope it does. Bell me, you should drop by the club sometime. Little black hound. Come see Marisol sing. Be happy to. Excuse me. <clears throat> They're both so warm, flirty, and friendly that you feel you made the right decision coming here. And then a chill runs down your spine. You're being watched from the corner of the room by three figures dressed in red robes. Their presence is unsettling, and not just because of their eccentric style of dress. But under the hoods, they watch you with the eyes of predators, and as one of them look away. You're so, you're so long that you turn away suddenly and almost collide. With Wilhelm. Ghosts. These go away. <laughs> Join them. Carrie reaches out a hand. Sorry, Wilhelm. Devs and Marisol. Because you already danced with Carrie, so. Let's make it fair, shall we? The gown is required to make nice with some unsavory associates. The burdens of business. People like Wilhelm are all too common in the city, I'm afraid. To keep your wits about you. Seeing the count, where is he? He likes to maintain an air of mysterious theatricality. He'll turn up. Can you tell me about him? Oh, my darling. The rumors are all part of the mystery. They say he was a wealthy aristocrat in Russia for the revolution. He fled under a cloud of scandal and came to America to reveal his fortune. By any means necessary, if you believe what you're told. Of course, I don't know if any of that is true. All I know is that he's rationally handsome and incredibly, gl incredibly glamorous. <laughs> is he dangerous? Is he a criminal? Or is he a good person? The 
Suzy a good person. He's good company. That's about, you. That's about all you can ask for. I'm sure you'll meet him soon. In the meantime, I think someone is trying to get your attention. Mm-mm. Damn it, I could wish you could dance more. But oh well. Uh, back to the office. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> for surprising you, he asked you your own business and you were not suitably prepared for a party. I'm enjoying myself. Damn right, he should apologize. I'm sure he's very busy. I'm sure he's very busy. He regards business and pleasure as equally important and inextricably linked. As a gesture of his regret, he has asked me to offer you this. Try it on. This is more than you ever dreamed of on those long days at the farm. Not only a glitzy party full of beautiful people, but a fabulous outfit that will make you stand out. Earn story points by exploring a life of 1920s glamour, wearing this outfit will also secure dance through the count. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that all of my episodes will have all the premium choices. So you don't have to worry too much about about I'm not sure how to explain like um but the curiosity killing you whenever you watch games things like this so yeah Anyway, choose a look. You can make a stunning debut on the Chicago scene with this outfit. Or your own clothes. Nope. You gotta get glammed up with a party outfit. And yeah, you earned yourself a glamour points. Yes, five glamour points. I'll tell the Count you approve of his choice. We'll leave you shortly. We step back into the lively buzz of the party, and suddenly it's as if everyone's eyes are on you. It's as if you belong here. It's as if this is where you were always meant to be. Then the music stops. Heads turn on the dance floor. You look around and you see him. Your host, Count Victor Sabarov, has arrived. You recognized him as the you recognized him at once as the man you saw in the pool. <laughs> Though he's now dressed, you burn up as the memory of his body beneath those clothes. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you're struck again by how unnervingly handsome he is. His skin is pale as moonlight. His eyes are amber flames. His lips are the exquisite work of an artisan. <laughs> he radiates confidence in something else. Ooh. <laughs> there is a darkness that, hang that hangs around him in air of danger. Those bright eyes lock on you, and the crowd parts as he steps towards you. Part those ways. Yeah. He bows, never taking his eyes off you. Miss Valentino, I am Count Victor Sabarov. Count Victor, hello. I apologize for keeping you waiting. You're worth the wait. No need to apologize, and so you should. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna go with a different option, and so you should. I'll <laughs> 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 be more considerate in the future. <laughs> if you choose the other two options, 
Uh, he's, he's just gonna smile and like go on with complimenting your car your if, if uh, complimenting girl me. So <laughs> keep that in mind. His eyes rake over you, sending a shiver down your spine. His appreciation feels more than professional. Friends, strangers, rogues, and rascals, I hope you're having a magical evening. I'd like to sing a few numbers to keep your spirit start and your feet moving. Yes! <laughs> uh, Victor offers you his hand. Please dance with me. I mean, accept or decline. <laughs> anyway, if you're seeing the, uh, Romance points displayed below the bo the pause button. If you see like if, it, if you see like more than hundred, I mean it kind of indicates that I've been playing this shit for as many times as I could. Anyway, so I'm gonna set this dance as if I have the heart to decline, fucking decline that shit. It would be rude to refuse. You take his hand and sleep. See you onto the floor. <laughs> Marcel shimmies the music and lets loose on a bluesy jazz standard. How come you do me like you do? Her singing is sensual with a playful, teasing tone. His eyes lock on yours. His hand rests gently on the small of your back as you trip across the room. You almost forgot to breathe. I apologize again that it took me so long to join you. I need to clear my head. <clears throat> you know exactly what he was doing to clear his head down there in his secret swimming pool. <laughs> uh, but he's. But if he's not going to mention your spine, you shouldn't see anything either. God, if only he brought up about that. Like, that would be funny. <laughs> I'm truly glad you accepted my gift. Looks made for you. Does it go with any obligations? None at all. Though we can pretend you learn. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he gives you a devilish smile, and you feel you may melt in his arms. Like, duh. It's just you and the count, the warmth and the music, the tickle of champagne, and a thousand sparkling stars. This is an unorthodox job interview, Count Savara. You wouldn't rather I come back at a quiet hour? I'm afraid I keep unusual hours. Business and leisure tend to mix together. Your night now? Something of the sort. What about you, Miss Valentino? What type of bird would you be? A hawk, a hummingbird, or a dove? I don't know, I see Bellamy as someone elegant, you know? So, a dove, definitely. A symbol of peace and love. A beautiful aspiration. The world could use more doves. You're new to Chicago, I understand. How oh, are you during the city? I'm impressed, I'm overwhelmed, I'm undecided. I'm gonna be impressed. It's magnificent, but your home is definitely the highlight. Thank you, I'm very proud of it. Perhaps you'll sh allow me to show you the rest of it later. If you're going to work for me, you'll need to know every inch of the place. Does that mean you're offering me the job? You feel your whole body drop as Victor sends you into a sudden dip. 
For a moment, you feel weightless in his arms, caught in the golden glow of his eyes. Your heart races as you catch your breath. Don't worry, I have you. You secured a dance with Victor Soboroff and made a memorable first impression. <laughs> the song ends and new melody starts up, a rousing, fast-paced number. Victor escorts you over the dance floor. Perhaps we should think of this more as an addition than an interview. I need someone who is at ease in social situations. Someone who knows how to be friendly and gracious. Let me introduce you to some people. The rest of the night is a blur. Victor takes your arm and leads you through the crowd. You meet dozens of new faces, business partners, performers, aristocrats, tycoons. Even a few rough swords who you could imagine cradling stiletto blades in their pockets. Victor is suave and charming, and he seems to have an intimate connection to everyone he introduces you to. Drinks flow and hours pass. Until eventually it's so late that it's starting to become early. As the party thins out. And the music flow. The music flows. <laughs> and Victor leads you back to the office. Was all of that a test? Are you going to ask me to remember all those names and occupations? It, was, it wasn't a test of memory. Parties can be demanding. Strangers can be daunting. I wanted to see how you handle yourself. I'm impressed. I hope by now you have some sense of the life I live. And I hope it's a life you'd like to be a part of. The truth is, I find it all thrilling. Not just the party, this country, this age. It's the music, the people, the energy. America is young and vibrant and filled with promise. And from the moment that laid eyes on you, I saw the same qualities in you. You need someone to guide me in this strange new world. I believe you will be the perfect guide. I... Please, before you answer, is there something else you need to know about me? You may find this shocking, but please do not be afraid. He turns away in attention and courses through his body. He lifts his head and lets out a shudder. <laughs> And his teeth. His teeth are long, sharp, and bone white. What? What is happening? <laughs> that was terrible. I'm sorry. You realize that this man. <laughs> you realize that this noble, aristocratic man is perhaps no man at all. You are alone in the night with a vampire. His red eyes burn into you. You wonder what he truly means to do to you. You resolve in the moment, do? Run, fight, or submit. <laughs> There's no point in running. There's really no point in fighting. Submit. Hell yeah. <laughs> anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching episode 1. Episode 2 will be out soon so yeah make sure you um click the like button subscribe share uh and you know check out the description below click the link down below to my instagram account where i would sometimes post original stuff on the story so, yeah, and maybe find me on subreddit. So, anyway, stay at home, stay safe. Please wear a fucking goddamn mask when you're out and about, thanks. And, yeah, please social distance wherever you go. Drink water. Um, don't be a dumbass. Black Lives Matter. 
Um, A Cab Baby. Anyway, bye. <laughs>